guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness here on wonderful, wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Getting a late start today. It's just about 3 o'clock, which is very, very late for me. Anyway, and with good reason, swamped business-wise, but here I am. Just got back from the printer and so excited. You saw the thumbnail? Meditation for double C's, baby. Life's good. Anyway, um, yeah, haven't played a note. Unusual. Let's see what we got, and I will explain the new book. I'm thrilled with it. Life's good. Life's good. Anyway, just got back from the printer and I said before in the opening, I am very, very proud of this. Very proud of this. Um, I think this can be a very influential book with all you're playing. Not only all you're playing, your entire life. I'll explain that in a minute. But I tell you what, man. This is nothing new. Meditation has <laughs> been thousands, I mean, forever. Forever. The ancient rishis, the ancient yogis, I mean, right up to, you know, as I work with athletes, Phil Jackson had Michael Jordan and Shaq and Kobe and all of them meditating. Jerry, Jerry meditated. At a certain time in his life, he was having terrible, terrible back issues. And instead of having his spine fused where he would basically not be able to move again for the rest of his life, he turned it all over to yoga. And meditation was involved in that. And all the asanas and downward dog and all that sort of stuff Jerry's doing religiously and meditation as well. Okay. And where do you think his first book, the name title for his first book, Trumpet Yoga. Guys, it was a big part of Jerry's life. And when I started meditating, it was about 22 years ago now, um, and I started getting involved in it, I became apparent to me, Jerry, you are constantly in a meditative state. He never commented, he certainly didn't disagree with me. He just smiled and kept on going. Anyway, Maynard meditated. At a certain point in his life, he went over to India and... Uh, uh, worked with the great guru Sai Baba. Uh, again, asanas, lotus position, downward facing dog, and meditation. Now, he didn't continue with the meditating part towards the end of his career, but guys, it is all over, and I guarantee you, guys, this will help you out. Now, unlike This is not a book of the month. This is the book that I'm putting out this month, but it is not a book of the month in the traditional sense where I'm commenting on videos. It is not a method book. It is not true power to the max. It is not a double C manifesto. It is about meditation. There isn't one note. There isn't one uh, you know, reference to Mel Broyles or Harry James or anything. It is about meditation. So Ralph, what, what the heck are you wasting my time for if it has nothing to do with trumpet? Well, it explains how you can work it into your trumpet life. But here's the deal, guys, and take this to the bank. A wise and witty philosopher once said, the mind controls the body, 
The best way to get control of the mind is through meditation. A brilliant man said that. Me. <laughs> That's the opening quote in my book. Okay? You already don't have to read three lines. Guys, nothing, nothing could be more truthful for that. You get that much, this is going to make a huge, huge, huge uh, difference in your life. Now again, every single thing that we are trying to do is completely, 100% physiological. It all has to do with the body. Relax the corners, firm up the tongue, no air, on and on and on. Guys, how, the easiest, best way to get control of your mind, which the mind is the what controls this. Your mind is controlling this. Now you think of your athletes, Tiger Woods, uh, Michael Jordan, Jack Nicholas, every single one of them is talking about them being mentally tough. And it's not going around, you know, smashing drivers and no. It's about when the going gets tough, the tough gets going and they can focus. And that is what Jerry had in spade. Nobody, nobody could compartmentalize better than Jerry. Just put the music off to the side for a minute and just think about the chops. You're brilliant. Brilliant. I think that was probably, as far as I'm concerned, one of his main assets to this study. Being able to focus on one thing at a time. My, no matter what happens, I'm going to keep my tongue in this position. Let's see what happens. Guys, anyway, it is such a good thing. I'm saying 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night. And this is all in the book. Okay? You start there. And what's going to happen, you just go in, I'm going to talk about posture, I'm going to talk about, you know, quiet room. Don't listen to music, because you're going to be listening to the music. There's a lot of garbage out there listening to waterfalls and, and you know, the ocean. Just go to a, a quiet, dark room. Okay? Relax. The first thing you do when you get up, and the last thing that you're going to do before you go to bed at night. Okay? You're going to relax. Your breathing relaxes. Your heart rate slows down. Your entire muscles, your entire body relaxes. What's the wor number one thing you're trying to do in true power? Relax the corners. Okay? Now, one of the hardest things to do is to get that juxtaposition between the relaxed corners and the firm, <coughs> firm lip and tongue position. Guys, that takes... Some real focus. It will come to you. When you start quieting down, all of a sudden you're going to get completely different sensations in your body. You know, you're going to have muscles bouncing up and down and, and twitching and all this sort of stuff. It's going to be completely different. And all of a sudden, at about this time, your mind is going to get so clear. And in this crystalline brilliance that you have in your mind, mind ideas are going to come to you that you never, never thought possible. Okay? That is when you draw your attention into what you're, it could be trumpet, it could be a family problem, it could be making more money. It's all there for you. And I strongly suggest, I'm not sure if I put this in the book or not, keep a pen and a pad next to you and jot things down. Guys, Jerry told me that the bulk of his ideas came just before he went to sleep. Lying in bed, reading about something, usually it's trumpet. All of a sudden, things start coming to him, ideas. And he would fall asleep, he would dream about the idea, and he would wake up and either write it down on that pad and paper next to his, uh, next to his bed, or he would literally, literally get up and go down into his man cave and do a drawing. Guys, he was meditating. You don't have to call it that. You can call it, you know, the, the focus. You can, you know, the clean, clear uh, mental clarity. You can call it what you want. He was meditating. You watch Yo-Yo Ma play a Bach, uh, Bach suite. You don't think he's in a meditative state? You watch Barishnikov do the mutt nutcracker. You think he's in a meditative state? Guys, it will help. Now, it is not going to be up on the website for at least another week. Okay, but like all of these, you know what I'm gonna say? You can get it tomorrow. Email me, 
saying you want it, give me $10 on PayPal, and I'll give it to you tomorrow. Get to work. You'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. And again, I absolutely gear this towards my trumpet playing, but every single time I have an issue in my life, I meditate, I'm telling you, things that I wouldn't even think of come to me like you wouldn't believe. All right? Anyway, that's it. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Um, love you all.